All right, so here we are, the first impressions video of my brand new car, the 2021 Honda Civic Type R. Now, I've given a little bit of time to drive this car around, enjoy it for a little bit, so now I can give you guys my first impressions of how I am loving or hating the car so far. Spoiler alert, I am loving this car. This car is absolutely awesome. If you guys don't know, I sold my 2018 Mustang EcoBoost for this 2021 Honda Civic Type R. I went ahead and I kept the blue. I went from lightning blue to boost blue. And let me tell you guys, this color kind of reminds me of a Ford Focus RS type blue slash grabber blue for the Mustang people, for the Ford people. As for exterior styling of this car, this car is about as crazy, as aggressive of a styling of a hatchback stock as you can get from these crazy 20 inch rims to that crazy wing in the back to the crazy hood scoop in the front. I mean, they really took a regular Honda Civic and they styled it as much as they could. And I, for one, am 100% in love with it. I love this styling. A lot of people either love this styling or hate this styling. I, for one, am in love with this styling. I think that I am not old enough to be a boomer to uh, say, oh, I don't like it. I, I think I'm still young enough to enjoy this styling and I really do. Now, I'm sure as you guys might be able to hear, this car is not stock. I know that these Type R's from factory come extremely quiet. Uh, the previous owner did a resonator and muffler delete on this and added two pipes instead of the three. I really do like the sound. Um, I finally get a car that the sound matches the car. I feel like I really like the sound of the Mustang EcoBoost with the catback exhaust on it, but it never really matched the car, if that makes sense. Uh, the car, it needs to, the styling of that car, it needs to have it be Yanked. Uh, I feel like that's what matches it. Um, I really did like the sound, it just didn't match it with this. I feel like this sound perfectly matches the styling of this car and the fact that it's a hatchback, right? You expect a four cylinder sound out of a car that looks like it's a four cylinder. Another mod that the previous owner did um, was an AQD short shifter. So apparently, in the I'm still getting used to it, so I'm not 100% sure. But uh, Acuity is a huge company and they do short shifters, they do a million things. And when I went to Import Alliance, a video on that coming soon, they had their own booth. And yeah, I got to experience it a little bit more. And I'm telling you guys, this has a crazy short shifter in it and I am in love with this short shifter. to the interior the first thing you noticed is this beautiful alcantara flat bottom steering wheel that the car comes with you notice a bunch of red that is the first thing i noticed on the interior it's just a crap ton of red now with the blue car it is pretty controversial i feel like if i would have gotten a red car or a black car it would have been a lot better in terms of not you know looking a little odd but i don't mind it i mean i really don't i really feel like this car is pretty much of an extreme in terms of styling so i feel like the interior and the exterior uh it kind of works it's not too bad now out of any car that i have ever ridden in this car has the most bolstered seats i think i've ever been in now they're not recaros or they don't have a name brand on them they just say type r but these things are absolutely insane they hold you in super super well to the point where i feel like if you're a bigger person i feel like they're not really comfortable to you that's how bolstered in they are so i really feel like honda did an amazing job with this uh with these seats in terms of that and I really, really enjoy it. I really think it adds to the car because somebody comes in and they sit and they're like, holy crap, this thing feels like a sports car. The other thing that you noticed is this beautiful gauge cluster. It's all digital. So that is something that I wanted on the Mustang for a long time is all digital and I finally got it with this. Um, it is not perfect because this car is a little bit older. It's still a little bit laggy, not laggy enough to be a problem, but it still is a little laggy. Driving wise, I feel like this car, even though it has four less horsepower, this has 306 horsepower and my Mustang has 310 uh, stock for stock. Um, I feel like this has way more power. Now I've always heard anytime you get a stick shift vehicle, you just feel the power because you can choose what gear you're in. You can choose how much of the power band you choose to be in. You know, you're not letting the computer decide for you as much. And uh, that is true. I feel way more power in this car. But one of the biggest things that I love this car over the Mustang in terms of power delivery is that all of the Mustang's power was really low. In this, the power in this car is completely linear. So the higher the RPM, 
the more power you feel. So that is really nice. It really gives it a naturally aspirated feel to it, even though it has a really big turbo. So good job, Honda. You guys did an amazing job on that. And it's one of the things that I, that was really lacking on the Mustang EcoBoost because after about four or 5,000 RPM, this car or that car kind of fell flat on its face. I really did feel like it had nothing else to offer after four or 5,000 RPM. It kind of just straight down, like no power. Whereas this, it has the famous VTEC. So after four or 5,000 RPM, you feel it, you feel it and after four or five thousand you feel that whoa of that VTEC obviously not that crazy but <laughs> you really do feel that extra punch of that VTEC that Hondas are known for and feeling that in first person I can honestly say I know I can feel what the hype is about um, it really do feel it and you're like okay I got one more thing left on my sleeve that VTEC kicks in BAM you feel that extra little bit of power the next thing I want to cover with this car is the mode selection I think the mode selection is another thing that really makes this car uh, let me show you guys there's comfort mode and with comfort mode it pretty much just just tones down the transmission and one thing that the mustang it didn't do with the mustang is it toned down the suspension so the suspension feels softer it feels floatier and that's really cool because that's something i really didn't have in the mustang and the steering wheel is a little bit lighter too so you do that then you go into sport and then it adds a little bit more some red accents it tells you on the picture exactly what it does i don't know if you guys can see that but it just basically brings the transmission back up to sport shifting. Um, it makes the throttle a little bit more sensitive and it makes the suspension a little bit harsher. And then there is plus R mode. And plus R mode is basically the harshest suspension. Uh, the steering is really tight. The throttle is really sensitive. And like if you guys notice on downshifts, it'll be a lot faster with those two. So when you downshift, it'll react a lot faster with that. So really big fan I don't really use plus R that much I usually just keep it in sport but plus R is really really nice it's pretty much the track the track mode of the Mustang world in terms of modes in one month of owning this car uh, I have got to meet and I got to participate in a bunch of type R events uh, import Alliance they had a type R only section which I got to be a part of which is really nice a uh, come, video coming soon for that and um, that's something that I pretty much feel like I would have never gotten in the Mustang unless I knew a bunch of people. I, I was Maybe I should have been a lot closer to the community. But um, yeah, this thing community-wise has been awesome. I was a little bit scared of letting the Mustang go because their community is so big and there's so many people involved. But uh, so far I'm in love with the Type R community and um, I made a lot of cool friends in just one month. Tell me if you guys are a fan of this new style of video. Um, I'll try my best. <laughs> So yeah, um, with that being said guys, like, subscribe, I'll see you on another video, and peace!